Okay, moving back into arm haulers. In fact, having that kettlebell there is quite beneficial for me because once I'm here, I'm really trying to get my arms as high as I can to swim up. So I'm going to extend, reach, and bend, lift those elbows, lower, extend, and rotate the arms. All right. Got one more round here of our simple strength combination of tempo squats and arm haulers. This is the last round. So for me, I'm gonna take it up a little higher than the 16K. I'm a pretty strong guy. So keep it somewhere between the 16 and the 24. If you're a lady, even the strongest of the ladies, I would encourage you to take it somewhere between that 14K to 20K range. So about 30 to 40 something pounds maximum. <sighs> Arm shakes are good. Shoulder shakes are good. Torso. Legs. All right, here, let's do it. Five, four, three, two, five seconds down. Three second hold, big inhale. Come out of there with strength and power. One more. Excellent. Check it out. Breathe easy. Okay, let's move into our last round of arm haulers. Slow is good. Slow and methodical. Ready. 
Mm. Take a nice exhale. Mm. Now, big inhale. Extend the body, reach the arms, rotate, bend, and lift those elbows, and then reverse. Here, I'm just relaxed for a moment. <sighs> and I'll go again. Big inhale. Extend, reach, rotate, bend, lift. One or two more. As you finish this, you can begin to do some partial segmental rolls where I'm basically doing a push up position with one hand and 12 o'clock with the other. Keeping my legs really, really relaxed. Ooh, and I got a nice. A little adjustment in my spine. I feel real good. You can do this with your legs too. Say, so you have your arms out, slight bend in the elbows. Now you're just reaching your legs, keeping your arms relaxed for the most part. Oh, just got another two. Excellent. Spend a few breaths in the child's pose. All through the nose. Okay, let's come to the crawl position. Do a few cat camels here with good breathing. So I'm rounding, pulling those shoulder blades apart, breathing out. And then I'm looking up, tilting my hips, arching my back, breathing out. The only time I'm breathing in is moving in between these two postures. All right, last little bit we're gonna finish with today is some kind of hip flexor stretch. And I'll start with the easiest one first, which is having your knee down directly below your hip. And the other arm, our other leg, and that foot is in front of that knee, they're forward. We're gonna rock forward and back. And you can just start with that first. I want you to just feel what you've got. Uh, for right now, I do have my toes tucked in the back. Big toe is pulled towards my knees, my knee. Now you feel what kind of range you get here for a few. Try the other side while we're at it. Setting up is first thing. So front foot, 
a little bit in front of the knee, down knee below the hip, back toes are tucked. And we're rocking forward and back. I can already tell this side, my left side, is way more in need of some stretching than my right. Hopefully y'all can feel those differences as well. Okay, let's switch it up again. <clears throat> this time, once you've found your, your base of support, your legs, go ahead and put both arms behind your low back. Focus on keeping that low back neutral so we're avoiding any excessive curving of the low back. I also want you to notice how my head and my shoulders are tall, tall towards the sky. And I'm avoiding any leaning forward with my torso. Okay, switch it up. Back toes, front foot, arms behind the back. Keep it neutral. Rocking forward and backward. Stay tall in the torso. Okay, let's switch it up one more time. Now this time would be the static hold. And it would be helpful to have something, like I do have some chairs around here, the leg that's up, or even the side, you can use two chairs. Something to hold on to from the sides could be helpful. Although it's really coming down to that, now I think about it, it's that, it's that opposite hand from the knee that's in the ground. You wanna hold on to something there. So I'm going to set myself up next to this balcony edge safely. I can hold on to it. If you have a chair, couch, that works out just fine. So from here, let's pull and grab that foot behind us and just hang. That's it. Just breathe in. Into the nose and out. Try to make the slow three, four second inhale. About five to eight seconds out. Now I like to lean forward and drop that leg behind me to come out of it gently, switch it up. So I've got to turn around so I can grab on the opposite way. Set the body, grab the foot and begin to do your breathing. Four seconds in if you got it. Five to eight out. Lean forward, come out of it gently. All right, to feel that difference, it's nice to be able to stand up, 
Try a few hip circles, keeping your head in place. Try both directions. Let's do some knee circles. So if you bring the feet together, legs are together, knees are together. Make sure that when you bend over, you flat back. Keep the feet flat and then get groovy with it. Other direction. Okay, let's stand back up. Same but different, feet are about shoulder width. Hands on the knees, back is flat. You can draw some circles, say outside to inside. Back, out, forward, in and back. Out, forward, in and back. And then try some in, forward, out, and back. Keeping the feet flat. Okay, last little bit. Let's go ahead and hug two hands. Perform some ankle rotations. Big circles with the big toe. Both directions. Okay, try on the other side, hug it, make some circles. Both directions. Excellent. Other than that, maybe get some pops out of your hands, fingers. Make some wrist circles by bringing your elbows together. Now interlace the fingers the other way, the way we don't usually do it. Try making more circles, try going the other direction too. And lastly, let's finish with some elbow, wrist circles here. I'm rolling around my wrists, keeping that contact, bringing it to me, bending my wrist and away from me, extending my wrist. Rotate, bend, reach, extend. Breathe into the nose. Let's try the other direction. Excellent, my friends. Happy Monday, enjoy this. If you wanna do an extra round or two of the tempo squats and the arm haulers tonight, you are more than welcome to. At least a set, two, no more than three. The idea is that these kind of drills, you could do these in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, you should be warm by the end of the day. Uh, so give it a go. Use what you've got at your disposal and keep yourself strong while at home. I love you a lot. Bye-bye.